Hi, Hiram here. Have to excuse me, I got another sore throat. <clears> throat> uh, lately, I've been getting, I don't know, a bunch of people asking me if I knew anything about the BioLite camp stove and how you can go about making one yourself. For those of you that don't know what the BioLite is, I'll leave a link down below to show you their site. There's also another pot, another device called the Power Pot. It looks like a a pot, but underneath there's a device on it that helps generate electricity from your flame. Now the BioLite looks like this. Has a fire chamber, has this electronic package on the side. Basically what it is is there's a copper rod sticking in through here that the fire heats up, the heat comes into this part, and a little device in here called a Peltier device uses the Seebeck uh, effect, which is something that changes heat differences it directly into electricity. Now the Peltier device that I was talking about looks like this. This is one. It's a little ceramic thing, wires coming out of it, called a Peltier. You can find them on eBay. You can find them at uh, different electronic suppliers. People are using them to uh, cool off computers and stuff. This is a cool little device. If you put heat on it, heat on the bottom, cool on the top, it generates electricity. But if you put electricity into it, uh, DC current, of course, one side gets hot, the other side gets cold. The thing where you see these a lot, and where I get mine from, is these little, sorry about the size, these little refrigerators, DC refrigerators. Any time I see this at Goodwill, I scarf them up. Now in this case, this one cost me $4.97. Usually you can get them real cheap because they don't come with the wires so that you can use them. But you get this for $4.00. You get all kinds of nice stuff in it. Take it apart, get a huge heat sink, the Peltier device, muffin fans, switches, controls, the whole bit for $5. Can't beat it with a stick. So what I'm going to show you here, just a quick little demo of the Seebeck effect in action. I'm going to use the Trangia. Let me light this funny these latest matches that I got their strike anywhere they hardly have any striking material on the top and most of them don't seem to work too good anyway let me get that to a bloom I'm going to use the simmering on it because I don't really need that much of a difference matter of fact I can probably show you here the uh, Peltier device is working right now here you can see it on the meter. It's generating like six milliwatts just from the temperature of the, the light above on the cold tabletop. If I put my hand on it, see how it raises up the electricity? Now milliwatts aren't much help for anything, but you'll see in a minute here. Like I said, this works with the Seebeck effect. Make different temperatures on bottom and top and that difference generates electricity. The bigger difference between the two temperatures, the more electricity you make. DC electricity. Okay, that's going. Let me put the simmering on because I don't need this much heat. Believe me, I probably could have done it with a candle. Well, I know I could have done it with a candle. Okay, so this is the heat sink heat sinks are nice because there's a whole lot of surface area here to gather up the heat I'll just set this on top let it warm up <clears throat> I have a pot here of ice water right now sitting at 39 or 33 degrees what I'll do is I'll just put this Peltier device on the top of this but because it's got plastic wires on it I'm going to use a little piece of carbon felt here to keep the wires off of the surface so I don't melt them. Just put that there like that. Put the ice water on top. Hopefully that's making contact.
Okay, now there you see it's a, a negative temperature or negative electricity, so that means I put it on upside down. Let me just turn it over. Okay, there we go. Now we got plus electricity. And you could see as this heats up the bottom, this voltage will go up. We're up to a half a volt. Now if I open this up, let me just take this out, open this up, or even just let it go full blast. Let's see what happens for a couple of minutes here. See how the current, the voltage is going up, not the current, the voltage is going up. Now we got one volt. One point one, one point two, one point three, we're almost up to a battery. <clears throat> one point five, a little bit more, and we'd be able to light up an LED. Now this is just one Peltier. What you can do is hook them up in what they call series you know red black red black red black red black on there the two wires every time you add another one it would up the voltage here this is just one device and we're already up to two volts and this is pretty much the way that BioLite camp stove works they have a like I said a copper rod going into the flame it pulls the heat out and puts it up against the Peltier device. There's a fan in there that cools off the other side of the Peltier and shoves air, forced air into the burner to make it burn hotter. And then you get a vicious cycle there. Now I watched a couple of videos on YouTube of people using these. And it looks like <clears throat> there's not a direct conversion. See, we're already up to 3 volts just on this one Peltier. So if I put two on here, we could conceivably get six volts. But anyway, I was going to say, <clears throat> what do I do with that? From what I saw in some other videos and read, there's a battery in here that you have to charge ahead of time for this to actually work. It has a USB port on it so that you can put your telephone or smartphone or anything on there to charge it up. So there were some running this with an LED light hooked up to it and it didn't turn on right away that's because they didn't pre-charge the battery at least ways that's what I'm guessing so before you leave home you have to charge up the battery in here anyway that's the Seebeck effect that's S-E-E-B-E-C-K found by some scientist way back in the 1821 his last name was Seebeck. I forget what his first name was. So anyway, there's the Seebeck defect using a Peltier device. You just add two different kind of temperatures, hot, cold. You could run it the other way around if you had a way. You could put heat up here like a hot pot of water and run a fan underneath here or just fan it, let it open. Or even a hot pot of water and a cold pot of water you wouldn't get as much voltage we're up to five volts here not much amperage I'm sure but five volts so you could work something like this see now I'm melting my wires here because the flame is coming out let me try that it's an easy effect but <clears throat> you have to do a little bit of engineering to get this to not melt your wires and stuff so I hope this helps those that were asking about this like I said, I'll leave links down below so you can see what this BioLite camp stove is. It's a little pricey for my pocket. I think it runs like $130 for this camp stove, which is pretty much a like a forge rather than a wood gas, but a more or less a forge stove. But for those of you that like to carry a lot, a lot of electronics, which I do, but I use solar panels, uh, you know, check into this if you have the extra $130. So again, I say I hope this helped people. 
the Seebeck effect in, in a short demo. We're getting up almost to 66 volts. See, this is running way too hot, but you could do it. So anyway, thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Look at that, 6 volts. <laughs>